Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Common Sense Academy. We're going to do some sovereign citizen shorts. And what we have right here is a Facebook post. And you can see, if you look up at the top, it's by the Moorish American Consulate of West Amex M. West American Mexico. I don't know what that means. But uh, the, the funny thing about this is the spelling. So scroll on down, and you can see some of it was blacked out. And it says here, the first line, Incapitus Diminutio Nolo, that's some Latin BS that they use, has invited you to a meeting today, Thursday, May 14th, 2020. Now, they added an E after today, Thursday, in May. <laughs> Speaking and writing our national language with a D before the G in language. The Phoenician genetic code within our bloodline has been successfully accessed. Please bring, with an E, your older dictionaries. Preferably, with an extra E, a first through fourth edition dictionary that is late 1800s or older. Yeah, the older, the less relevant it is. There you go. If you do not have one, come anyway and we will share with some more crazy spellings. So this cracked me up. It looks like the Moorish sovereign citizen movement is claiming that uh, they got their own language, their own writing system. They're modifying English, putting E's at the end of everything. I'm gonna go out on a I'm gonna go out on a limb here and guess that the E stands for El Bay. You know how they add Bay to the end of their names? E L space Bay El Bay. Oh man, I like the Phoenician um, reference there though, because they say they're from the kingdom of Moab, which is the modern day country of Jordan. That kingdom existed in 400 B.C. And it's true that the Phoenicians lived in the area of Jerusalem um, in Israel, mostly Israel today. Israel, as we know it today, in ancient times was occupied by peoples called the Phoenicians. And the Phoenicians did, um, did migrate to and conquer much of the southern and northern Mediterranean. And the Phoenicians uh, controlled territory in modern-day Morocco, though they were based out of Carthage. That's what the Carthaginians were Phoenician um, in genetic and historical ancestry. Uh, really interesting stuff. Go ahead and look it up. Tons of videos on YouTube. Uh, but before we get to the next one, thank you everyone for joining me. I'm Joe Pometto. Joe the Lawyers is Common Sense Academy. We take a look at sovereign citizens, First Amendment auditors, and people behaving badly. If you like my content, do me a favor. Like, subscribe, comment, and share. Those are free ways to support this show, which will always remain free. I have some patrons on Patreon, and they are my best and most valued viewers. Um, but you don't have to support me like that. You can just subscribe or share this video. It's a great free way to support me. Now, before we get to the next two Sovereign Citizen shorts, we have another... Um, Ritual on this show, we do the same time sip. Check out that cup, check out that cup. No license plate equals no window. Uh, raise your cup, your glass in the air. It tastes better when we sip together. Cheers. Mm. Love my coffee. Best beverage in the world. Okay, here's another one off of Facebook. This guy, you know, they, there's these sovereign citizen Facebook groups. They're wild, man. They're wild. So, it says here, my opinion is that anything pertaining to me is already my property by right. Unless anyone else using it can show a superior claim, they are required to pay me damages of cease and desist upon notice of liability and opportunity to cure. And it got four likes. It got four likes. Look, buddy, anything that's not explicitly yours, somebody else does have a superior right to it. I can almost guarantee you that. So be careful. Uh, if you sent me a loony cease and desist like that, I mean, you know, I'd send you some crazy stuff back. I mean, you got to be kidding me. Be careful. You know, you send these fake liens and these fake notices. Um, the government's prosecuting people for that. Okay, so here's another one. Uh, let me just make this the right size real quick. All right, and this is from an admin of one of these loony Facebook groups. One day, everyone will comprehend the basic principles of natural law and realize that rent, interest, profit are unlawful. One will not utter cowardly phrases like my bills, my taxes, pay debt, income, evicted, foreclosure. 
take the time to read Title 15 USC, was that governs these household consumer transactions and learn what one's position really is. Stand on it. Don't let no one else's fear or confidence stop thee from knowing for oneself once and for all. Know thyself. No law, no rights. Cowards exist. Stage left. Um, this guy sounds, you know, the sovereign citizens run the gamut. I call most of them anarchists. Many of them are totalitarian. This one here is a communist. Um, he doesn't want bills. Uh, well, he did my taxes. Okay, he's more along the lines of an anarchist because communists, they want to tax you and then everything is run through the state. Anarchists, um, they don't believe in bills, taxes, debt, income, evictions. For anar They don't believe in the rule of law, period. There's no rule of law in anarchy, and that's what this guy is advocating. Uh, Title 15 USC, uh, household consumer transactions. I guarantee you, I don't even need to look at this one. And I guarantee you that this goofball is wrong. Let me tell you, these Facebook groups are trouble, are trouble. They're out there perpetrating fake law, pseudo law, fake sovereign citizen, BS, and all these loony conspiracy theories. <laughs> oh, man. Boy, this stuff never really gets old. Okay, thank you for joining me. Joe Pometto, Joe the Lawyer, Common Sense Academy. Please like, subscribe. Also sign up for my email list. You'll get a free PDF on a history and examination of the sovereign citizen movement written by yours truly. Thank you.